Six Dream Corner. Today I'm going to show you New World Man by Rush done the right way. So I have tabs for this in the Six Dream Corner tab library. It's in the description below, so be sure to click that. It will get into the entire library of all kinds of songs. This song is one of them, and it is in there. So go ahead and grab it. I do tab them on sections. I don't do the whole song, especially when you got to repeat stuff. So I think it'll just help you just learn the certain sections that are applicable to what you're trying to work on. So a little insight on the gear that I'm using. I'm using a Kemper Profiler for my amp sounds. I'm using a Galleon Kruger. Those little gems that were used way back in the day in the 80s that were quite popular. Uh, Alex Lifeson did use them quite a bit. I don't know if exactly if he used them for this song, but for my taste, it works really well to um, play this song too. So I'm using Galleon Kruger, different clean settings and overdrive settings and lead set. Well, I don't use lead settings for this one, but one of those two I'm using for the get for the new world man song. I also have a fractal FX8 Mark II that I'm using. It's an effects only, but basically the setup that I'm just using is simple chorus delay reverb on the back end on the post. So it's a CE2 chorus, just a regular digital delay, which is really slight. There's really not a lot of delay in this thing at all. So just to give a little bit of body. And the same thing with the reverb, just a small plate or no, it's a small hall reverb, I believe, that just to give a little bit of body to it. And that's really all I'm using on the post end uh, to give a little bit of overdrive. I do have. Tube Screamer, which is normally used for overdrive, but I just turn the gain down a little bit just to give a little bit of punch on the stuff that's got a little more kick to it. Obviously, I have a PRS, and I'm using a single coil tap on this. I believe he used either a Telecaster or a Strat. I want to say it was a Telecaster, but it could have been a Stratocaster on the recording. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was a single coil sound. I know it was definitely that. So I don't have those guitars here with me right now. This PRS does the job, so that's why I'm using a single coil uh, pretty much latched onto the bridge pickup. All right, now let's get on with how to play the song. The bulk of the song consists of the riff. Now there's a couple different variations on this that is played. Um, there's the quiet version during the verse, and it's it's there's more you're kind of bouncing off that D string a little bit. Now I leave my pointed finger here on that second fret on the G string. That's the A note, and I'm just going from second, uh, fourth, and fifth string, and then I kind of sort of bounce it off, if you can see, off that D string. Uh, this is during the verses when it's quiet. And that's the bulk of it. It's sort of muted a little bit too on the right hand, so when you're playing it, you just sort of mute it, because you want to just sort of quiet down just a tiny bit. You don't want to be... You don't want to have it really open like that. Just quiet it down a little bit and it'll sound just fine. So when we get to the choruses, when it's bigger, uh, when we're kind of, the song's kind of moving a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of overdrive that's thrown onto this. I'm not gonna put the overdrive, you already heard it earlier, so I'm just gonna show you. When we're in overdrive, when we're kicking in, in, in high gear, it's, it's just a slight variation.
variation on this riff. So we, we don't do that little bounce off with the ring finger. Okay, we're still using the same notes and I'm still ending on that A note here on the G string. And that's whenever, it's at the ending, that's during the choruses, the new world, man, I mean, that's the big part. So, so there's two slight variations on that, so just keep that in mind for the verses, for the intro. This next part is in the verse, it's playing off an F chord, and the way this is done is... So I have an open G string, so I'm basically playing an F power chord, and then I have an open G. And the next part goes... That's really just B flat, C, to the F, and I use pointer, ring, little finger, just like that. Make sure you have a nice, pretty chorus, delay, reverb going on on that. That really sounds nice. It's just kind of a, just an airy sound, very atmospheric type um, sound that it uses. And then we come into the next part. After it does this part, it goes. That's just on the D. And then a lot of this stuff here now is going to be on the upbeat. All right. So they were very much in that reggae feel. So you're kind of just highlighting that reggae. Beat. The chords that you're playing here is going to be an F major. This is a B flat sus, shown just the way it is here, and then a G minor. So, and then there's just this little thing he does. Uh, I've seen it done a little different live, but it, the gist of it is the same. You definitely want to get that. All right, so that's all on the upbeat. But then there's this sort of a muting thing, a little... Uh... So there's definitely this thing that it, that's being done. I know it's more emphasized live. It's a little maybe harder to hear in the studio version, but it's you can definitely put that... So that kind of keeps you in the rhythm too of the song. Now there is one thing when you start it. All right, and that's just on the uh, third to the fifth fret, you're sliding on the first and second strings. All right, I like to use my fingers here to do that. So I come off the G minor. And then go back. All right, and then you play the reggae beat again, and you open it up on the G minor at the very end. All right, and then from there it goes into. Now, when we get to the end part of the chorus. It's just dun 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 It's it's loosely based on that type of rhythm. Same chords that you did uh, earlier. It's uh, the F major. Uh, it's a B flat. Uh, it could be a B sus in there. You could probably do either one, and then the G minor. All right. So those are the parts that you'll hear throughout the song. There are two other small, very small sections. Um, one of them is in, I, I want to say it's the third verse, it's just the chord D and it's just strumming it. That's really all it, it does. The last verse in the song. And then the outro goes to that variation on the New World Man. And now this time they go C, C it's the regular C major, G major, and then back to. Those are the parts to New World Man. 
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe, like the video, click the bell for notifications. I've always got more videos coming up. I've got a lot of live lessons too, so find those somewhere on this site. Uh, you will definitely find something that you like, and if not, I do have more coming up in the future, and let me know what you want to learn. So anyway, thanks for watching, and rock on. <coughs>